Take it away, Ooh. Charlie. Welcome to the official podcast, episode 228, I believe. Jackson was yeah, just course. whining about not liking Godzilla, so you can all insult him now in the comments. Are, are you are you just afraid of Godzilla fans after the last <laughs> moist meter we did on him? Because I remember <laughs> that being uh, a controversial one, if you if you could say. That was very I'll controversial. Be your, I'll be your uh, opinion VPN for all of you. Don't worry. I'll be your proxy, your lightning rod. That fucking movie sucks. It's boring. It's shit. And you guys can pretend to disagree with me. I'll, I'll eat the shit in the comments. Don't worry. That's a fantastic movie. What are you talking about? I thought it was very good. <laughs> the only thing to criticize is just the bad human shit, which is just to be expected by this point. But it's mainly just focusing on the monsters for the most part. I'm actually... I think a movie just entirely based around the monsters fighting would be entirely boring, pretty much. Like, I think there's, there'd be no I, it substance would be there. Better It'd be than cool for, like, a little was. bit. The Why entire last Bobby Brown what? even in this? See, you're only going to pick apart the human shit, which everyone, even the most diehard fans, agree is dog shit. Even the director agreed wasn't good. It's just yeah, there because the, the, it the has Bob, to be. He did? Yeah. Yeah. He basically said that what it was just... Um, it was just the only because she had a contract. Yeah, the only reason she and that whole storyline is in the movie is because it was part of that contract that was signed. Like he didn't want that there; it had to be there. So it's like surely just that doesn't specify like a certain amount of time needs well, to be spent on her. Couldn't he kill her off within like the first five minutes? That's still that's no, still not a good does. argument to say that the movie isn't shit. It's like oh well, Bakaya, the director, didn't like it either. Okay, Jackson, <laughs> so Jackson. we all agree. Even Hollywood. he agrees it's ass. Hollywood contracts are incredibly specific and demanding. Hollywood contracts even specify what order an actor's name appears on the movie poster. Well, no, I get that. That's that's yeah. like a what, what do you call it? Yeah, the, the, like the highest paid actor in the film obviously gets top credits. Well, it's no, it's not even usually that. Sometimes actors that are paid lower specifically demand to be first in the credits. It all depends on the contract for the movie. But still, like, why was that even a... The whole arc didn't do anything. I don't even know what the fuck... Like, Millie and the, the fat kid. I, I think that's the fat kid from Deadpool, Deadpool 2. Deadpool. Yeah, he is. Yeah. God, he and, was um, so awful. He was really the, bad in this. The black Alex Jones. Like, why are they even in this movie? They didn't contribute fucking anything. All they fucking did was, like, what, hack Mecha Godzilla at the end, I think. Yeah, that's so... Right. It, 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 didn't it boiled do down to Mecha Godzilla being connected to satellites or something, and then the the three the trio of humans in that situation spilt water on the machine. Oh, not water, alcohol on the machine, which destroyed oh, yeah, the machine. Literally. Which was pretty mm. fucking dumb, considering that whole building was exploded, wasn't it? At some point, like previously, but it was water that created the uh, you know mechanical interference needed to sever Mecha Godzilla's connection to the satellites. Not the entire building complex being destroyed. A mere second ago, yeah, it was fucking stupid. You, you, you're you're right though, Charlie. Thing is stupid. Everyone everyone knows that the human parts of those movies suck ass, but th th they don't have to. You can't make an <laughs> entire movie based around just two monsters fighting for like two hours. That's not entertaining. Uh, that's quite literally what some action mm. movies are, where it's one guy doing all the action for like a very John serviceable Wick. bare yeah for a bare bones plot. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. I, yeah. I would totally be okay with just Godzilla and King Kong fighting for an hour. I'm I'm cool with that. Really? Yeah, a hundred percent. What like uh, they, absolutely. Don't, they, don't have, they don't have yeah. to, you don't have the kind of connection that you do with like John Wick. John Wick has a purpose, a reason behind it. John Wick has a very bare bones reason behind it. You it's, could it's find a, it's the same thing no, for it's that. It's a pretty strong hey, hey, purpose. Hey, guys, behind guys, it. guys, let's not say things we can't take back, okay? This is not a critique of John Wick. Let's stick to Godzilla. <laughs> All right. And how much know, think, awful like, the fucking CG was, by the way. Like me and my buddies were watching this. It looks like a fucking Unreal Engine cutscene from like five years ago. This is. It's I thought so the CGI ass. looked fine. I'm just sick of dark, uh, no. like CGI shot in dark situations. But I was happy that towards the end with Mechagodzilla, it was in daytime. But what all the CGI uh, was it? What fight took place at night? Like every single fight that I can think of right now took place during the day. Did you watch it? I think the final one. Yeah, the final the, one is yeah, like but the it, entire, transition, it entire transitions last to the Godzilla day. vs. Kong. No, no it, but it, it transitioned afterwards. Well, after it, he's down on the ground. That's a super long fight. So it goes from like night to daytime. It goes through. So, so uh, basically, the whole cycle. I just watched it. Uh, the only um, the only fight that was in the daytime element was uh, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Like the final 
So the then you arc. you watched it with your eyes closed because when they fought on the ships, <laughs> the, it was also daytime. Oh, that was that was that was so like disorientating. I couldn't tell what was happening during the ship stuff. It was always going underwater. I, there, there was one cool. There was one cool scene where like Kong uh, and Godzilla, like Kong punches Godzilla in the face as he's reaching out of the water. I like that bit, and also the jet taking off. I thought that was a well shot uh, part, but all the rest was just like them tussling underwater. And then yeah, was Kong roaring off the edge of his uh, aircraft carrier. It wasn't super cool. Yeah, no, fucking Godzilla is just so much cooler than Kong too. And for some reason, like just like the anti-lizard racists that made this movie, they they antagonized him like he's the bad guy when he's really just a misunderstood, wholesome, I don't know, lizard. Like, Godzilla is awesome. I love Godzilla. Is it explored Team at Godzilla, all in the yeah. previous movies? I don't remember. Is it explored in the previous movies why there's a like a hatred between Kong and Godzilla? Yeah, they're trying to turn it into this fucking turf war. Like they're like they're the fucking bloods and cribs fighting over the old world or whatever the fuck they call the hollow earth that they ripped off. Like the, whoever made this has watched Alex Jones's Infowars uh, on repeat, apparently. And they tried to somehow justify that there actually is a hollow earth that contains <laughs> these ancient lizards, which again, like did you commission Alex Jones for this? Did you pay him your copyright fees? Because I feel like he owns this, that premise. But fair enough, whatever. They're supposed to be these old titans, and Kong is, I guess, supposed to be a civilized like monkey. Like the king. Like, he, he, like he's uh, supposed uh, to be closer to humans than to apes, I guess. Like, he has intelligence, and he makes axes and shit. I don't know. They have technology. You know, the the, the best actress or actor in the movie was the, the, deaf, the deaf actress, the, like, the child, which surprised me, like... The only one that showed any emotion during that entire movie was the little deaf child. So props to her. She was good. <laughs> and why was she there? They took her on every fucking mission. Like you're a, you're you're the military. <laughs> you're traveling to another dimension or something to fight <laughs> space aliens. And for some reason, this little four year old is on the helicopter with you. Like, what the fuck are you doing? We I don't bring my five year old nephew with me into the like. <sighs> whatever it, it's a preposterous movie and that's fine I, you know if, if you're gonna be goofy that's okay it's basically just life action anime but man the human part sucked i mean again that those three people should have just been cut out of the movie entirely fucking millie bobby brown deadpool kid and black alex jones added nothing and they just annoy me that's my review everybody hate on me don't touch charlie or jackson or andrew i thought it was good yeah, just going and accepting that the humans are going to be fucking horrible is the only way to approach a movie like that. And the director didn't linger That's on fair. those parts for too long, so I thought it's, it was fine. It's surely not impossible to make that angle somewhat interesting. Like, I thought the first Godzilla, not well, not the first Godzilla, they but the, had... the most recent Godzilla with the, with the, uh, the army guy was done, you know, oh, serviceably. Jesus Christ. It wasn't awful. It was horrible. Uh, it was terrible. He was like he, he was, was rescuing a little child in Hawaii. I didn't think it was that bad. No, I, it was I, terrible. I, Look, I didn't. I didn't see Godzilla vs Kong, but I did watch the previous Godzilla, and everything that had humans on screen was unbearably terrible. Which, which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the like? I think it was 2014, maybe Whichever, the one with Brian Cranston. No, no, the, the there was a newer one. There was yeah, one. Yeah, that, that one was ago. awful. Jackson is somehow defending the even worse one in 2014. I, 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 I talking, like that one. I like which, that one. Are you guys talking about the one with Brian Cranston? Because yeah, yeah. if well, that's your what I'm human parts, if your human part sucks, it's not Brian Cranston's fault. Okay, no that guy's a good Brian actor. Cranston. He's great. Calm down. I, I liked him. Right, it's that. not I the actor's his... fault. I like that. I like it going into like the Japanese excluded radiated zone and, and discovering Godzilla was the cause Jackson, of it or whatever. In that, Jackson, in that <laughs> movie, if I remember correctly, across that entire almost two hour runtime of that movie you're talking about, Godzilla has 20 minutes of screen time. You're literally focusing on a movie that was more about a soldier's boring story than the actual Godzilla movie. You're looking for the wrong things in the franchise, bro. No, not necessarily. <laughs> if I enjoyed it, I think I can uh, speak for my tastes and my enjoyment of a movie. You don't have no, to. It's it, the taste is wrong. The taste is wrong. Yeah, Jackson, <laughs> you have objectively bad taste. Like, I don't get it. My my point was that you can do the human part justification. You you don't have to make it trash like this Millie Bob Bobby Brown aspect of this new movie. 
I, don't I know. mean, yeah, ideally it wouldn't be I would trash. like to agree. Yeah, are you saying yeah. that potentially they could make a good movie instead of a bad one? Is that your point? <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know why. Well, you you guys are talking like we have to fucking settle for some reason. Well, it, it quite literally, in this case, we did. Uh, the contract it, it dictated that she had to have some serviceable role in this movie. So they gave her the most bare bones plot as well as the most bare bones character development in order to go That's from not what a we justification. don't care about. That's not a justification yeah, not for its inclusion to our, us consumers. Why? We, we yeah, didn't have to spend much. We didn't have to spend much time with them. It was literally like eating vegetables before dessert. You just have to wait through like maybe, maybe at most no, like ten minutes of their. Plot except during to get the like the climatic better. final fight scene, we had to cut to the to their reactions every two seconds to see what they were doing in that control room. It entirely uh, ruined the pacing. Disagree. It, and it it's barely, excruciating. It Every much. second they're on screen, it's like excruciating. Listening to the fat kid act the same, like the same, very same orbiter, beta, awkward genius kid or whatever the hell that you have in every movie. It's just boring to watch this. Just smash cut. Just smash cut to Godzilla. I don't even care what he's doing. Even the Godzilla sleeping is more interesting than these <laughs> we talking. I don't care. Anyway, and then he's a the fucking podcaster review. too, which is just ugh, yuck. It's like re really, like re the protagonist is a fucking podcaster now. Nah. You're telling me he you don't want to be the protagonist of a movie? Can you imagine listening to fucking podcasts? Jesus Christ! <laughs> 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 they didn't even commission us. That would have yeah, been fine if they hired us. That could have been on there. Ten out of ten <laughs> movie in that case. Uh huh. Why did they even break into right. that fucking facility? They kept going deeper and deeper until they were locked in a cage with, with uh, what, what do they call those flying insect things? The flying I monsters? I Knuckle draggers or some shit? I don't know what they're called. But they were locked in a cage with them. Like, they just kept going to more dangerous situations and it makes it hard to really empathize with them. Dumb characters. Didn't like them. You weren't really supposed to empathize with them. They didn't have a single, like sad or serious moment the whole thing was like cracking jokes and screaming mm. like it wasn't it wasn't meant to be like emotional weren't they mm, she, she was like kind of trying to get back to her dad or trying to i don't know save yeah, godzilla but, it, but, it, but because it, she had an emotional connection to godzilla last movie I, I mean not but it wasn't like a big plot point like she called her dad once maybe and the dad was like i can't hear you and he <laughs> hangs up on her <laughs> Like it's I know, like so why do I have to fucking moment. watch that? It's so useless. It is. I, like, no one's arguing Agreed. it's not, but it doesn't really de detract from the overall movie because it's not there for long. It's there just because it had to be, and then it goes to a better place. It goes to I, either I don't a understand. If this was any other movie, I like think you would be going in military. on it just as hard as I am, Charlie. I, I think you're just if it was more from the previous if movie. It was a, if it was a more sizable chunk of the movie, I absolutely would. I absolutely would, just like I did in the last Godzilla movie where it was mainly humans. But here, it's genuinely just not like the last 40 minutes of this movie is mainly just the all-out fight between kong and godzilla with like multiple rounds in it like it did exactly what i would have wanted it to do it's and even like the the actual interesting group with the military they follow kong the whole time so the like kong is constantly on screen as like an integral part of the movie which mm -hmm. is a lot better than it just being He's... humans so clearly he's like asleep on... for most of it though yeah, and he says one word. You know, I counted during that entire movie. Kong only says home. That's not interesting. His contract wasn't very good. Yeah, dude. They literally ripped off the fucking E.T. thing, right? Like, Kong is like, King Kong, phone home. And then he touches fingers with the little girl. It's like, what the fuck? Really? There's nothing wrong with that. At least he's having a role in a story. <laughs> so I, mean, Phil... okay, I mean, that's fair, but he's still like chained up for most of half of the movie. He's just like Kong on an such aircraft a bitch carrier, which for some reason. Movie. So fill me, uh, in, fill me in here on something because I I haven't seen it. I've only seen like trailers and marketing and shit. Is one of them a bad guy? Like, do we specifically root for one of them yes. in this movie? Godzilla yeah. is framed yeah, as the villain, yeah. I, I, okay, yeah, so that doesn't make a lot of sense to me because in nearly every single Godzilla movie, he's the good guy. Yeah, well, okay, you, it'll make sense by right. the end. Yeah, okay. it's a double take, Andrew. He's evil, but it's human's fault that oh, he's fuck. evil. Ah. Fuck you. At the end, 
Yeah, so, Andrew, like, throughout the whole movie, they vilify Godzilla as this evil fucking slimy lizard piece of shit that King Kong, our holy savior, our holy god, is gonna come in and save us from. And then at the end, they... they uh, spoiler alert, I guess, if you want to watch this fucking thing. Uh, they uh, join forces against Mecha Godzilla, And... They have this one shot of Godzilla smiling. <laughs> and he, ends, like, he, he smiles and Does gives. Does he give a big thumbs up and do a slam dunk? Yeah. And I was I was hoping at the end. He uh, smiles after and gives King fight. Kong. He he gives him a knowing nod and King Kong <laughs> nods back and they're like, "You're good in my book now." Like yeah, really, all this awesome. blood feud, this racist f- gang war that's been going on for centuries, not centuries, like millennia, is yeah. now over because he defeated a robot. Godzilla almost caused Kong to take his last heartbeat, but like five seconds later, they're shaking hands and staring off in the sunset together after making Godzilla. <laughs> Literally, and they then just, and then Godzilla goes back into the ocean, and the humans are like, "Yay!" Like, um, meanwhile, Hong Kong is he no leveled. longer a menace? Is is he no longer a nuclear threat to the planet? Like, what? Are we not going to stop him now? What the fuck? What is happening? Well, Mecha Godzilla was the tool that humanity was going to use to stop the Titans, um, but they couldn't control Mecha Godzilla for some. Yeah, what? Well, actually, I, I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. What caused Mecha Godzilla to go evil? They literally. You, here's what caused it, Jackson. They literally just said. Oh, he's controlling himself now. No, man. Why? Jesus Christ. Just cause. Was it King no. Ghidorah? Yeah, King Ghidorah. Him? Yeah, King Ghidorah. They, he, they literally had the shot of him killing the guy that was like jacked no, into yeah, the no, I, I know yeah. that, but I thought it might have been the power source, like the power that they no, then used for Ghidorah. So King, King could... Jesus, King Ghidorah can control from the grave using his neurons or something because the Mechagodzilla the, suit was powered by his skull. Yeah, they had that line in the movie about like how Titans have like genetic memory or whatever the fuck it was. They did like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They did like explain it away. Gotcha. Again, that's fine, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think it's Overall, fine. just... Just, no, just I was stick just, to I was the just fucking to... monster fighting. This is I hate the same thing. Like, and uh, Charlie, you can at least agree. Like, both of us hate the same thing about the show Attack on Titan, right? Like, cut the fucking boring politic talk out of this. Like the philosophizing Ooh. and shit. Just show us yeah, Titans fighting. You're putting words in Charlie's mouth. Yeah, no, I don't I, think I it exists. No, we, we had I this love. discussion. He said this to me. I don't know if he said it in private. <laughs> I don't no, care no, if no, I'm no, out you. T- you're talking about when we watched uh, part three or uh, season three, part one. There was a, we were talking right. about, yeah, we were talking about like a specific aspect of it. But overall, I love the way Attack on Titan does like their exposition drops. It's just, there was a, not to spoil anything with that, there were a couple of parts that I agreed with you on that could have been cut without any detriment that it just seemed like excessive fat. Just kaiju's fighting. Just someone make a show about just kaiju's fighting, please. This this was, I mean, to Charlie's no uh, point, this was pretty close to it. Yeah, I, I feel on. like there was there was a pretty decent uh, amount of different fight scenes in the if movie. You took I out, think if you took out the mandatory Millie Bobby Brown group scenes, that <laughs> entire movie at every single point had Titans on screen. Okay, here's my proposal, a peace treaty between uh, fans of this movie and haters. You guys remember when a Star Trek fan cut out all of the gay scenes, like all of the gay propaganda, apparently, or something? Yeah. You guys remember Holy that? Shit, I for, maybe I it was Star about Wars. That. I don't remember. It was Star no, Wars. But this one wasn't guy. It? Wait, there's what? There's no gay stuff in Star oh, Wars. Oh no! Right, it was Star Star Trek. Unless I've just been watching the gay cut the entire time. Of, I mean, the no gay cut the entire um, time. No, no, no. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was Star Trek. Anyway, some guy yeah. he sat down. He went through hundreds and hundreds of hours of Star Trek, and he cut out everything that I think he thought was not Christian, and he released his own cut of the show. So, I propose somebody go through the Godzilla movies and just cut out all the humans. All right, deal. Isn't that the I, same I mean, as just going yeah, to YouTube that's, that's, and searching up the clips yeah, I was of the parts say, you want? Yeah, just go watch a, like the YouTube clips at that point, yeah. which is fine. I actually no, advocate for that. No, I, I want it officially released on a DVD or Blu-ray. God, we're so old. DVD. The... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I know. oh, my bones are withering to dust when I heard that. <laughs> oh, no. I know. It's like I, I can feel my ligaments like oof, ouch. 
Well, guys, we... if we're if we're this old and we're fading away this hard to the sands of time, I at least hope we made some good investments for our future. Oh, you bet. When you oh, agree, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm set all for I know, life, baby. Well, I, all I know is that when you're making investments, you're gonna want to look into some crypto because obviously crypto is pretty pretty big deal in the world of investing now. And for the last ten years, Kraken has been known as one of the best platforms for buying and selling crypto online. How do I know this? I've legitimately been using Kraken for the last year. I use Kraken all the time. Same. I, I really do just pop it up. I'll just go on there, check prices of stuff, do a little buying, doing a little selling. I love Kraken. It's one of the exchanges I regularly just hop on, pop some money into, do some investing. I've got little bits of shares of things here and there, and guess what? You can do that too with Kraken. They've got over 50 cryptocurrencies to choose from, including not just Bitcoin. I mean, everyone knows Bitcoin, but they've got some of the other big players like Ethereum, Dogecoin, Polkadot, all sorts of fun little things to check if you want to maybe get your big toe into that investment pool. You can also check out their industry leading staking service where you can put your crypto to work and earn 20% in additional rewards annually. Pay out, sorry, up to 20% in additional rewards annually. Payouts are twice a week, and it takes just a few clicks to get started. Visit kraken.com slash official to learn more. That's kraken.com slash official. I have been an actual Kraken user for like over a year now. I think they're great. The website's super intuitive and easy. And it's where some of my investment goes. So if you want to invest like big boys like us... Check out some crypto. A yeah. lot of people get scared of crypto because a lot of the sites are pretty fucking shady. Kraken yeah. is like the gold standard. Yeah. I'm very familiar with Kraken as well. They have so many good altcoins Same. that you can't find other places. Kraken slaps. Yeah, Kraken's great. People get scared, but it really shouldn't be. It just, it, 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 like, it, I guess we can talk a little about crypto I'm, because I'm interested in this a lot. Um... Like, a lot of people still have this myth in their head that crypto is extremely, like, private and, you know, it, oh, it's crypto, therefore it's encrypted. And, you know, th- there's going to be a utopia one day, you guys, where none of us will have to pay taxes. We're going to pay everything under the table. Like, no, no, this shit is highly regulated. It's safe. It's basically you're just investing in stock. But what's brought this to my, um, I don't know, I guess what's really amusing me recently is that, you know, um, Bitcoin is hovering around 60,000 right now. And everybody is like, oh, it's too late to get into this. It's too late to get into any crypto coin. No, no, you guys, like I'm hearing from my Turkish friends right now who are telling me that their parents, their boomer ass 60 and 70 year old parents are just now learning about crypto and they're buying Bitcoin. <laughs> so their entire demographics who've not yet been exposed to Bitcoin and everything, who've yet to buy into the fucking like thing. Like the turkey boomer demographic. That's going to have a <laughs> ripple. Uh, yeah. like, not just a t- no like this has to be happening all over right because it, it might sound maybe wrong to some of you guys but please remember like the overwhelming majority of people have never even heard of bitcoin it's just because we're young yeah. and we're enmeshed in internet culture and everything that's that's cool but the like 60,000 we did that just with the attention that we gave that fucking thing and yet all of the rest of the planets, all the boomers still have to buy into this. And now they're just starting. Like my Yeah. So I've been huge into crypto uh, over the last like, I don't know, five months maybe. Andrew and I got into it really early, but I think mm-hmm. we both like dropped off around 2016. And I just recently picked it back up again. It's fucking crazy. Like all of the money I've put into cryptos have gone into altcoins at the moment, and that shit has popped off so fucking hard, it's nuts. I don't even know what half of this shit does or what it even stands for, and I just put like a, like, like a, a handful of money into it, and then like in five days it doubles. Like it's it's weird. Like it's not, this isn't investment exactly. advice because I wouldn't recommend yeah. it. Unless you like uh, none of this is investment advice. Yeah. Don't fucking yeah. suck if you lose your goddamn money. But I do the do exact same thing. I go on my exchanges. I go, you know, I go on fucking Kraken. I put in, I don't know, a thousand dollars, okay, and then I just distribute the thousand dollars equally between like f- fifty coins that I don't know what the fuck it does. There's something called Sushi Coin. Like what the fuck is hey, Sushi Coin? I don't know. Now, hey, hold on All a second. Know, hold on. I can tell you what that is. What? That shit. That shit is promising. You you got lucky on that. Sushi. Oh yeah, of course it is. Of yes. course it is. Sure. Sushi <laughs> Sushi Swap. That, that could be the big one. That could be a big one to the moon. 
it could be the big one because god knows like maybe tomorrow fucking elon musk coin daddy space lord is gonna retweet sushi swap and sushi coin it's gonna like quadruple in value that's the only reason i own it but they're like it all it is is stock it's like meme stocks gone on steroids yet you still have people thinking that fucking bitcoin and shit is private because they hear the word crypto and they and they associate with encryption like no bitcoin if anything bitcoin is the complete opposite of privacy it's extremely public and extremely transparent every transaction you make is available to the public that's how they got the fucking i don't know if you guys remember the silk road the it was the biggest drug site on oh, the, dark the black web. market yeah yes the black market and all they all the cops had to do was find one laptop with bitcoin addresses and they could they were able to unravel the entire fucking network because for those of you who don't know bitcoin there's something called the blockchain uh, dear boomers, if you're listening, like if you're older than 20 years old or 30, I guess. And the blockchain records every transaction ever made with Bitcoin and it's available to everyone. And you can see what address, what wallets, like uh, the exact amount of money that went from the exact wallet to another wallet. You can trace everything. It's very, it's extreme, very anti-privacy. So, yeah, do you, do you think the misconception comes from people just no. thinking decentralized means private? No, yes, really just yes. Means- and they hear crypto and they hear that Bitcoin was the currency of the dark web. And that's why they think it's fucking private. It's not. But to, to be fair, there are currencies that are, for example, Monero. I remember Monero. Monero is a fucking... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you go on Monero's site and they, even in their FAQ, they're like kind of tongue in cheek. They're like, okay, our our coin is fungible. It's like super privacy. So wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You could use this for ransomware and illegal activities. Exactly. Not that we like endorse that, this, but okay, that's yeah. fine. But here's the problem. Well, not problem, but like everybody thinks fucking cryptocurrency is the tool of the future. Like I said, like one day none of us are going to pay taxes. No, there is a reason that now... M- mastercard visa the banking system the fcc they're all moving in on crypto your bank is going to offer you crypto soon they're all regulating the shit out of this because they recognize bitcoin as a tool of slavery that it really is one digital currency they can fucking move to it it's very easy and there's no fucking privacy and the yeah the at the end of the part day where it's just you lose your privacy with monero is okay so let's say so with monero the whole deal is for those who don't know is uh, unlike bitcoin when somebody sends you money the transaction is private you don't know who it came from who it went to and you can't even see the amount okay sounds good so let's say somebody sends you fifty thousand dollars on monero okay now what what are you you're not gonna pay your landlord to fucking monero your local grocery store is never ever going to accept monero at some point you have to actually convert that to real world money like US dollars or fucking rupees or something, right? Which, and which requires point, someone finding that, which requires finding someone who wants Monero for that, you know, value, that valuation. No, no not just that. I mean, you're going to go to your exchange and it's not the ex, ex, uh, the fault of the exchanges or anything, but they are regulated by the governments. They're going to ask you. So what happens is um, when you sign up for these exchanges and you try to buy Bitcoin, the overwhelming majority of them, they will ask you for a photo ID Sometimes I ask you to take a selfie with your photo ID, and that's what happens. So when you cash in your Monero, uh, your exchange is going to be like, okay, well, if you want us to pay you dollars for this, like literal, actual, real-world money, you're going to have to send us your fucking driver's license or your passports. And let's say you do that, okay. And then you're going to cash it out to your bank, your bank account. Well, a large sum, any, any amount of money that would make a difference to your life, anything that's more than fucking grocery money you know anything more than 16 dollars it's gonna it's gonna get flagged by your fucking bank and if not it's still gonna be reviewed by your local uh, tax authority by your local friendly governments like they're gonna it's not gonna happen this future where everything is private and you're just gonna get away with not paying taxes it's not real not until we dismantle the banks and we take the power from the banks we become our own personal banks and ironically yes yeah, the banks here are the problem, and the again the governments. It's a lot. Of, like, to be fair, this is not investment advice, but please, I, I guess my point is, cri- please error. don't fucking now. No, no. The point is, please don't buy Bitcoin and then spend it on drugs, thinking you're anonymous. You're not. Okay, stop, stop that. Yeah, but to but be fair, with PSN crypto gift cards because, instead. Uh, but please Every- invest in crypto because it is good stock. Yeah, it so will only everything- increase in value. 
everything Kai is talking about isn't the fault of crypto. It's just public perception right. of how it actually works. It's just like not being knowledgeable on it. Mm-hmm. So again, not investment advice, but if you're interested, you should absolutely do like research I mean, on it. I mean, it. earlier you guys admitted Please you don't even know how crypto. it works. No one's exactly. totally knowledgeable on any of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, not 100%, but you can, you know, I don't know, spend two weeks learning crypto. It will help you. It, it's Got it. a good thing to learn. And I think one, it it has its uses for things like free speech because you have um, Oxen, for instance, Oxen.io. And they have a messenger now called Session that is completely decentralized and supposedly censorship proof. Like, that's nice to have. But like, you know, what's going to happen when fucking Google and Apple ban you? off of their app stores no one's gonna fucking know about you it's gonna be a tool of the dark web for pedophiles and drug addicts to use that's it like the government owns us man i'm fucking so it's got dark god damn it yeah i miss godzilla I hate being a... i miss godzilla too and people in our chat are photoshopping me to be a femboy which is just making things worse <laughs> not Jackson. <laughs> what, what is what is with the photos of me in compromising situations? God damn it! Jackson flying the plane into the twin towers. I'm turning that. <laughs> I might retweet That's that me. actually. <laughs> okay. Well, if we're gonna get sad to make things worse everybody you guys like put your hands in the air right now like like in dragon ball z we're all gonna lend our energy dmx who's now in the hospital because he's brain dead or something he's in a vegetative state because some reports say of an overdose some say it's a heart attack i don't want dmx to die man i i love him so much i i've been doing my push-ups to x gun give it to you for years i want that man to live i'm bummed out yeah it's fucking sad. He's just in the goddamn hospital, rotting away. So like what, a vegetable. what happened? He so Andrew, you Kai's been talking a lot. I want to hear from Andrew at the moment. Most publications say it was a drug Honestly. overdose, and now he is currently in, like, they say he's in the hospital, and some other publications say that he's in a coma and a vegetative state, and it's like that's eh, that's not good. There's very little hope coming away from that usually so we may be losing dmx very soon and the world even will mourn. He, from what i understand even if he does uh like come through and he, he he leaves the coma that kind of uh that kind of time spent without oxygen to the brain just has permanent effects like yeah I, he's definitely not uh, going to be apparently the his apparently his doctor has come said drop bars his doctor has said that it is not looking good and he has very little brain activity and it was an overdose. So, yeah, this yeah, fucking that's incredibly sucks. sad. It's extremely sad. God, all yeah, even all of his estranged so kids are flying in to see him. This is not great. Wait, yeah. he's estranged kids? How many does he have? Oh, billions. DMX. So, so DMX is. Is he like Genghis Khan? Yeah. No, DMX, DMX has basically no money, and it's because he has to give all of it away to court ordered, like, alimony and child support. Because the He's man like has. He's like Robert Baratheon from Game of Thrones. He He's has dozens so of illegitimate bastards. children. He really does. He he's just got so many, so he's got like no money at all because they keep garnishing his salaries. <laughs> do you think? Do you think I could claim that I was a son of DMX and fly my way there? Like, would they even? Yes, yeah, so a white Australian man is the son of DMX. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you're yeah, like one one thousand twenty fourth DMX. Yeah, <laughs> he has. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, no, I'm trying to read how many children he has in this publication. Apparently, he doesn't know. He has four kids with his ex-wife. I don't think DMX okay. even knows. Well, yeah. he doesn't know anything now, but... Oh, too soon, Andrew. Hey, man, I so love he's, DMX. If, he, if he's got know. that many kids, if he has that many kids, and he's just been fucking around his entire life, he's had to, like, uh, impregnate a fair bunch of groupies. So I'm imagining there's a fair few fans out there that have have uh, given birth to DMX's child. Yeah. DMX has given Why has he not been cancelled yet? Kids. 
Because oh. he's not a YouTuber, Jackson. Yeah, he doesn't give a so fuck. He weird. DMX is a fuck. I, I am also Jackson. surprised that he's not gotten uh, canceled because the... No, oh, you guys, that? canceling is only for internet celebrities. Think how many musicians and actors are fucking random women left and right with zero regard for their feelings and doing all sorts of sleazy shit and no one says anything. At all. Because they're celebrities outside yeah. of the internet. Because they're real big that. boy celebrities. Fucking rock stars, literally it's a stereotype that they pick women from their audience and fuck them and then move on. No one cares and or says women anything. Don't we, we, have a, we, have a, we have a cancellation that we have to get to, but do you guys think yeah, I can yeah. read this line from a song, Where the Hood At? It has a soft no. A-N word in it. No, all right. no. Uh, yeah, where the Hood At's kind of... But a, I am all, yeah. It's a good song. Anyway. Oh, it's a great song. It's um, just the message of it's not very good at all. The message of where the hood at's literally don't be gay. <laughs> it's a catchy song. I like it, but I don't think I don't think it's a very profound statement. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, it makes good music, but the yeah. messages might not Turns be Turns out exactly. rap in general is not very profound. But yes, I fucking love DMX, man. That motherfucker will make you go the extra mile and the extra two pull-ups that you have to do. It's great workout <laughs> shit. Oh yeah. Anyway, so as we were talking about, another YouTuber has been cancelled this week, you guys. For the attempted cancelling. Um, I'm actually well, kind of well, happy wait, with wait, the Wait, 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 wait. Was so he cancelled for being too in shape and too <laughs> fit and ripped? He's yeah, he was used Fitbot sure. too much, and he was too ripped. Yes. Look, uh, look I figured that we should talk about our <laughs> Fitbots before we dive into what's probably going to be a long topic, because Agreed. I can talk about long topics with my chiseled abs and big pectoral muscles. I, I mean, that I does. feel healthy and strong and able to talk about something for a very, very long time, which is why I'm going to talk about Fitbod. Let me tell you about something. You know how you repeat the same exercises over and over and over and you just get bored of it? You know how you repeat the same exercises over and over and over and mm -hmm. they call it plateauing where you don't feel like you're making progress and you're just kind of sitting Low there doing the same stuff. Burnouts. Yeah. yeah. That's why you want to use FitBod because they will make progress towards the future you to help you overcome new challenges by creating a fitness program that will continually adapt with new exercises and dynamic intensity that will adjust to how well you're progressing. You can sit there and go, oh, I'll, I'll do my own little workout. Let's do, oh, I'll do 20 squats, uh, maybe 20 push-ups, and yeah, we'll go running, and, and I'll be in amazing shape by this time. And then, I don't know, a few months in, you go, why am I not getting any better? Why am I not getting any stronger? Why don't I look any better? You're not mixing it up, and you don't have the incredible sage wisdom of the experts at FitBod to help you nail down the chiseled body that you want. FitBod's programs are created based entirely on your unique body, experience level, and your environment. Their algorithm will use data and analytics to help you build on your last workout to maximize your results. Whether you're exercising three days a week or twice a day, every workout is scientifically proven to be better than the last. Is your fucking Google foo scientifically proven? I don't think so. FitBod workouts are balanced to avoid overworking muscles, and will give you varied exercises to keep you sharp and invested. Personalized training on a budget is also very tough, but FitBod is only $9.99 a month. That's only $60 a year if you sign up in bulk. And if you sign up now, you will get 25% off of your membership. That's 25% off of your membership at fitbod.me slash official. That's 25% off of your membership at fitbod.me slash official. I also want to clarify this because I feel like some people are going to think I'm an idiot. I'm well aware $10 a month is not $60 a year. But if you sign up per year, it is $5.99 per year. But it is $9.99 per month. No, 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 no. Five nine, no, it's $59.99 a year. What did I just say? God damn it. Five. You said five ninety nine. Five. Which yeah. Fifty nine ninety one. Yeah. Sign up per year. It's a fucking bargain. It's six hundred dollars. I'll just do. I will do that again. <laughs> Fitbod is nine ninety nine a month or fifty nine ninety nine a year. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. 25 percent off. That's that's that is a lot, guys. That that's is uh, actually a exactly lot. Exactly yeah. one quarter off. If you want to put it in those terms. Yeah. 
pretty good get in shape i mean all, all four of us work out by the way if you want to be like the official boys mm -hmm. if you're a big like pizza eating fuck i'm sorry that's not us it's it, it, that's not us that's we all four of us work out I hate pizza. It is me, but I also work out. I, I yeah. eat, I'm a big pizza eating fuck, but I also do my push ups of fitness. Exactly. Bot. Each each and every one of us legitimately have workout routines. So be like us. Do something. It's kind of funny to me that non patrons, like those who never listen live, they will never know just how much we fuck up our ads <laughs> and how frequently <laughs> and how embarrassed we always are. It's fine. Um So to get back to our topic, somebody um is now can trying to cancel, I guess, or they were trying to cancel Vinny from Vine Sauce because, you know, alleging that he was, I guess, the same old shit as always, that he's raping children and that, you know, okay, uh, obviously okay. there's yeah, no whoa. rape involved and there's no children Let's, involved. Uh, let, hang on a minute. Hang on, old... hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do not, do not say that he is allegedly raping children because that's not even remotely what they're no, alleging. Like, I'm not no, saying no. never once said that. I, uh, I haven't I'm seen never anyone. once. What I'm saying is that even, I don't believe a single that. fucking word of this because I never do. I know, I but I know, and that's fine, shit. but you immediately going there accusing him of raping children is a really bad way to preface this whole thing. I didn't thing. accuse him of shits, what the fuck? Now you're they, putting they, words they, in my mouth, alleging no, that I put Kaya, words in listen, his mouth. Listen, Kaya, they didn't even allege that. No, yeah, I no one any at any claims. point said yeah. any pedophilic arguments, and bringing kind it up like of, that is not it, a good way to start no, he, this. They're, they're, no, just, they're, they're basically they're just saying... They're bringing up age. They brought up age, they did. They did bring up age, yes, yes. They did. But it, in was, this, it was more from the perspective of like a power imbalance, which we've already talked about in the past. They we brought up age. Yeah, it's the same fucking shit. shit. You're bringing up age. You're, you're alleging that this person is a creep for going for younger people. It's, it's the same. I understand the hidden implication of you doing this fucking thing. You're a piece of shit. And for those who haven't seen this, it's a Google Documents uh, thing. It's uh, like 40 doc, pages I don't know long. what you call it. It is literally... 40 fucking pages. I don't know if I have a page count on this thing here. I don't. But it is 40. It it's like 37. Is, it's it's like a scientific dissertation. It's so long. So much fucking text and all in this effort to cancel someone. It's so fucking stupid as well. And because it's so at the end of the day, wait, it, it boils down to this is what the whole drama is about. He's a 32 year old man who had consensual sexual casual relationships with i think four different women who are all aged above 20 it's like such a non-issue i cannot believe that someone went out of their way to compile a 40 page document you are such a fucking loser to spend yeah, that much time the... well, so you guys know when you sorry go ahead i was gonna say also some of the uh, emails have been completely debunked when they were spent when they were sent Whereas the same time have. he was streaming, so he literally couldn't have sent some of those emails they show. Plus, if you read them, it doesn't read like anything anyone would ever write. For example, like, good Bob's section, want to see more, please, please, please keep secret. No oh, Creeperinos. Yeah, Creeperinos is the one that really gets me. <laughs> yeah. Creeperinos. And even if you just don't want to dismantle that at, you know, face value... He, the emails were literally sent during one of his streams as he was streaming so it, it couldn't have even been an email he sent also he only replies to emails on sundays some of the emails took place on fridays using his business email which other people also go through not just him so i highly doubt he would even be using that to communicate with fans like that uh, you know unmonitored or anything like but that like it, it makes no sense but even at the end of the day, when the, the like the biggest claim that they make is that he had uh, he like ghosted people after sex. If you're seriously dedicating that much time to faking that, or or trying to cancel someone over that, you please like just get off the internet. You need help if you're trying to ruin someone's life over what you perceive as like some kind of abuse because they ghosted someone after sex. It's so fucking stupid. That happens literally so often in casual relationships online and in the real world it's not just really, inherently abuse just because he stopped talking to you i can't emphasize just how long this google document is i yeah, don't think any like of us read pages. it it's so fucking long it's so long it's longer than your usual like angry twitter thread or reddit post like it's so fucking long and it's just walls of text you guys know when you look up a scientific study and has like intro premise conclusion 
abstract, like that sort of stuff. That's what this fucking Google document has. And in the intro, in the intro, two paragraphs that whoever wrote this wrote, it says, um, the first time I met Vinny in person was at a convention in 2017 when I was in my very early 20s and he was over a decade older than me. And that's the part that bothers me because they're immediately they're like emphasizing that he was older than this person. Like, so oh, she's he was basically over a infant. decade older than me. This this creep, like he's a borderline pedo, right? You guys, like, bitch, you're in your 20s. Self-admittedly, shut the fuck up. That just makes me like Vinny more. Like, this is fucking... So he's in his 30s and he fucked a hot 20-year-old. Okay, good. High five. What What do I owe Vinny? Like, what do you want me to do here? Crisp high five, I guess. Good for him. Yeah, this is one of the sadder attempts of anything I've seen Twitter try and do. It's really yeah. fucking bad. Also, but is it uh, a coordinated the, attack? Uh, I don't know, but in person, person number four in this document has been completely refuted as well. Like person number four said that it's all bullshit and wanted no part of it. <laughs> so like one of the most crucial points in here is from someone that disagrees with the entire thing to begin with. So it's it's crazy. <laughs> It's, it's also worth crazy. clarifying I, that the info dump didn't come from someone uh, that's claiming they themselves were a victim. This is some fucking loser who's like gone around searching for people who have had sexual interactions with Vinny and then compiled that kind of stuff into a document. None of yeah, the victims one of, themselves. The one fucking, of the worst parts, though, real quick, Andrew, one of yeah, the worst yeah. parts, the, the, some of the Vine Sauce team members like GPM and stuff immediately retweeted this stuff when it was released, yeah. like within well, that's minutes. That's why I think he's like a, a coordinated yeah, attack Yeah, like or for something. some reason, like like what his friends and people closest to him immediately signal boosted this within the, the very first minutes that this zero follower account posted it. So they had to Really? Known, they fucking betrayed yeah. him? Immediately uh, after this went on Twitter, they started retweeting Mandalore Gaming. God, that makes Gaming. me angry. Yeah, it, it was like a bunch Wait, of different who? people. Who Mandalore say, say? Gaming, Mandalore Gaming, GPM, and a couple others that I'm blanking on immediately retweeted the document without even fucking reading it, just to immediately signal boost it. People Why? are so desperate for clicks and social. I mean, the, the, the no thing idea. that blows my fucking mind with all this is I don't know what the internet expects from people like this. Like, I who are celebrities on the internet supposed to have sex with these days? Do they have no to one. verify? If they've them? seen a stream. Well, if they've seen a stream. You can't touch them. I guess. Yes. Well, that like that's the thing. Like, if you have a big following on Twitter before you want to get laid, do you have to go? Uh, excuse me. How many followers do you have? Because I'm pushing a million, and you <laughs> you only have two hundred thousand. Uh, that's kind of I don't know. No, you uh, have to be celibate. You gotta you gotta hit at least half a mil before you know we can start sending news. It's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. This, uh, oh, at that's... some point, this power imbalance myth has to go away. I mean, I if know. you or if you want to go completely hard on it, Ariana Grande's got to be your won't. next target. She, Ariana Grande's got to be next. She literally I mean, married a fan. Come on. Yeah, yeah like no, it's not PewDiePie. She, PewDiePie married a fan. Who was who was oh, yes. the singer? Who was PewDiePie the female singer fan. recently who literally admitted she would date rape men who came to Cardi her stuff? Yeah, yeah. Cardi Cardi B. B. Like, why, why hasn't she been canceled? Who's an extremely stinky, gross, low IQ? Like she's medically diagnosable as a moron. She's so fucking stupid, and she admitted to robbing people after drugging them, and God knows yeah. what else. And yeah, she still gets to roam the fucking streets, and nobody says anything. We she don't cancel Cardi to a fucking crime. We don't cancel, we cancel Cardi Finney. B. Exactly. But we'll we'll go ahead and jump on whatever fucking internet person because they had sex with some people. But someone who admitted to a sex crime doesn't get canceled. I thought I thought For people what, didn't care about casual sex anymore. That's what I'm curious about. Like why no, why do people it's, care? It's a it's bad when it's a it, for some reason internet personalities are held to like this weird fucking standard chris brown beat rihanna nearly fucking to death I know. and he still has die hard fans and, and people hated him for a year him. and then after that now everyone's like oh his music's amazing i love him he's great yep it's crazy and if you try and bring up the chris brown shit you get blasted on twitter now i know like it, it's wild it is wild for some reason it's only with internet people that this shit can keep happening i, I well and truly wild. believe i well and truly believe it happens to youtubers and streamers because the parasocial friendships are so strong and high in those categories like people people get closer in their own brain to streamers than they do like giant musicians and actors and whatever so when you hear that they maybe do something kind of uncouth 
or something that's like in their little head cannon for how they operate something they don't like, they fucking throw up their battleship and go, no, 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 you, you can't be that person. You can't. You're not that person Christ. to me. It's fucking uh, pathetic. It's so Guys, goddamn yeah, wait, pathetic. Wait, wait, wait. I think I figured out who fucking wrote the 40 page essay. That Mandalore guy, uh, Charlie, just tweeted recently about why he retweeted that original post and he's like document explaining why he did it is like six pages long as well he's <laughs> just, is basically I just, just saying so uh, is this stop just, fucking is, writing is this, so much friends? losers no i don't uh, know is this I'm his friend sure. Sure, guys i am not sure uh gpm i know was his friend they're both on the vine sauce team so that no one not anymore hurt. gpm used to be on vine sauce but not which anymore, which no. possibly points to there being bad blood behind the scenes, perhaps, and that's why he jumped on the train so quickly. I don't know. This is all infuriating, but please, like, stop being friends with people like this who immediately toss you under the bus. If something like this happens to you and your friends don't have your back, they should be dead to you forever. The this is smartest, not something you apologize for. The smartest fucking people in any of these situations ever are the ones where if they are friends, they go, look, I'm going to wait for a minute. I'm going to wait for the evidence. I'm going to wait for them to prove like empirically what did and didn't happen and then make my judgment. But if you're immediately mm -hmm. like, let, let's say hypothetically tomorrow, someone calls out and goes uh, critical fucking like molested my sister or something terrible. Like, I'm, I'm not immediately going to be all like, wow, Charlie, how could you, you monster? I'm going to wait for Tag evidence. Yourself. I'm going to wait for fucking proof. I'm going to wait and see, like, how it unfolds. I'm not going to immediately start burning a, bridges. Like, that's Andrew not... Andrew immediately as drops a, a tweet longer. My experience. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Yeah, there, we, we've talked about this so many times. There's two acceptable answers to this. Is One, I don't give a shit, go fuck yourself. And two, prove it. Yeah. Prove it. A fucking a fucking forty page documents with like yeah. shitty screenshots of emails doesn't prove it. I don't give a fuck. Like, I've known this motherfucker for like ten years, and you're telling me he rapes children? No, no. You, you need to do better. You need to do better than that. Well, in that situation, go to the fucking police. I'm so sick of this being yes. done. I know. Yeah. That's the other time thing. Don't marry your fucking. If you've done something Ugh. illegal or think someone did something illegal, don't air your issues out on Twitter and expect everything so to be many okay. Cases, go to the so goddamn many cases police. Have been like maliciously ruined online by like putting them online that makes it so much harder to enforce uh through like through proper agencies because then it's just corrupted by the internet oh, like they can't do any that. anytime so any of this stupid. shit happens no matter who it's about who you know how much you like their content wait for proof wait for it to all hammer out wait until they definitively say yep here's no. proof that this happened before so you make any proof do we need right now though even the fucking accusations he didn't do anything bad i was just I about to it. say even in this situation if everything was true and that's a huge if since <laughs> right. some of it is genuinely debunked if everything was true the worst thing he's guilty of is having <laughs> consensual sex with women like it's, it's no, literally no. nothing it's <laughs> fucking nothing <laughs> like that's what i was saying like, even if all of it is true it's okay so Vinny is a winner Vinny, Vinny, Vinny has Vinny is high fives. Yeah, right. It's like it's crazy. Okay, he, he got with a hot twenty-year-old. Good for him. Good. It, it reeks. It reeks of those situations that you always hear about, where the woman says yes to a sexual encounter or whatever. Like, you, there's implied consent. She consents to the sex, and then like two weeks later, she goes to the cops and says she was raped. That's but a little really, different. The, the difference there is alcohol, and that's a no, whole no, different no, set I'm of things. There were definitely mil people out there that maliciously claimed they were raped, even though they weren't. But like, people do lie about that. Not, yeah. not often, mind you. People, like, people I'm not saying, lie about obviously, that it's an often thing. Look, like, like terrible things like this do happen. There are absolutely people out there who have platforms and have big audiences and this and that, and then they turn out to be horrible sex offenders or like really doing shitty shit. That does happen. But at the same time, people do lie about this. There are people who will make this up just to get clout or just to like, you know, take them Attention. down because they want to har harm their image. There's always two sides to everything. And before anyone ever jumps into any camp, you know, if you're not personally involved, you don't need to do anything. That, that's it. 
you really don't need to do anything. You don't need to fucking jump on any bandwagons. You don't need to say anything unless it personally affects you. Just wait until evidence comes out. Wait until there's proof. Just can like, does friendship exist anymore? This is to me again. I know I'm repeating myself, but the weirdest part is people throwing their supposed friends under the bus so easily. And to me, that's just so bizarre to claim well, we your we don't friends know. with we don't someone. Know if they were friends. Maybe they were wronged behind the scenes and it provided justification well, for them. Not necessarily in just this instance. I mean, in like every single time this fucking happens, they're friends. The, the, the people that they talk to every single day, their coworkers, their friends, they all are so fast to, you know, push the person in front of the bus and wash their hands off it. Like, oh, I... I never knew about this. Oh, how dare this per- like, People like looking like, like good like, guys. Pe- people like the, uh, you know, yeah, looking like the white knight or the the one who broke the case or the one who put an evil person uh, yeah. behind bars. Yeah. Yeah. People just want to be a superhero we, on the internet. We are in the age of virtue signaling. Like, it's always been a thing, but now in recent years, it is the... Uh, it's just everywhere. Everyone is trying to virtue signal on people everything and be so, superior to others. People are just so guess, maliciously uh, disingenuous online, really, with social media and such. I, I, I can't take anyone seriously, really, especially I if, get if this signaling, is the problem. But still, like, don't you really... Seriously, like, okay, I understand that for a lot of these people, the internet life, their virtual persona is their source of income, their source of... I guess you could say ego, where they derive their self-worth. But in real life, do you not have a single friend where when they get accused of something, you won't have their back? I mean, if my fucking friend told me that he killed someone, I'd be like, my best friend, my, like, the one best friend that I have, I'd be like, uh, all right, what happens? Like, we gotta get an alibi straight. Like, where was their fucking phone? We- what, what happens? What happens? Tell me. I wouldn't immediately run to Twitter to tell everyone or anything this is just it's so bizarre to me that these people apparently don't have a single fucking straight friend in their lives who will not immediately sell them out like judas for right, a well, bunch yeah, of in, in this case in this cra- in this case obviously where the alleged offense is so insignificant that it really it really the people the friends in this situation definitely look like snakes like that's the term i would use like people who who uh, yes. push other others that they are friends with, like in harm's way, to put themselves in a better position? Definitely, definitely snakes. I agree. Also, I I think a lot of it is wanting attention. I like, for example, with oh, the yeah. Carson stuff. The first thing that group did was go to Keemstar. Like, there's no other way of spinning that other than like you just wanted like some attention from this. You didn't really care. Cocksuckers. Like, it's Cock like, it's suckers. actually just. It's they found a way of getting easy attention from Twitter, which is drama. And I think that's real fucked up. And in this case, even some of the people that were like, I don't think Vinny's a bad guy. I'll have to read it myself and all that. Like, at least there were those people. It wasn't all of his friends, you know, it was just like a a small group of his. I will I will I will say that I definitely saw more of that this time around. Like, it was definitely far uh, that that opinion was shared far more than it was during the Carson situation, for example. Yeah, definitely. Which is good to see. Maybe maybe it means that the Internet is wisening up and there's only just a few bad actors uh, pushing this agenda. But to to be fair, this is two times in a row, the Dan one and now this one. I absolutely think it's getting to the point where people are starting to realize, like, yeah, some of this shit is just outright dumb and just I mean, genuinely fucking nothing also also the carson situation i don't while there was well, fault his, there his, some... in, his entire career is fucking destroyed because of that it's not like he's recovered because of all of it it's oh you, pe- you mean in the sense that both dan and uh Vinny are still going to have careers after this oh yeah they're, they're think... gonna be completely fine yeah, but it's still, I'll, it's, I'll be more it's still an embarrassing situation the, and emotionally like damaging to the people in that situation. Like being labeled as something you're not and then lambasted by the I'll, internet for it. That's still fucked up. Oh, for may sure. May I bring my trademark cynicism and say that the, I think this the only reason this didn't stick is because it was presented in a incredibly boring 50-page Google document that nobody bothered to read. 
I think that's we the don't only like that kind of shit. That people, people, no, people definitely oh, people love on Twitter forty page documents. It. Yeah, Kyle. Really? That's all they do. That's all they do all day. A hundred. They love. They read that whole thing from cover to cover these when are, it came out. These are the these are the anime God, like this profile this pictures Tumblr uses that re, like read fan fictions yeah. all day and live in the, an imaginary the fucking, world and such. They the love fucking this shit. super sad shit about all this is a lot of people just treat this as entertainment. They fucking break out the popcorn and go, ooh, someone new's getting canceled. Yummy, yummy. Let's take a read. And it's like, fuck you. If you're a fucking drama chaser and just like, that's your whole life. Good God. Good fucking yeah, taking, God. Taking that kind of enjoyment or entertainment out of someone's I life know. potentially being ruined. I, I understand Gross. if you cover it. Like, I, I don't know if you do like an informational video about it or something. I get it where you want to explain what's happening. But the people who just sit on Twitter all day and they're like excited that people get canceled, like, oh, fuck off. It's never a good thing when this happens because it either means someone did something terrible or someone's lying about something terrible. It's yeah. not a good thing. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's completely correct. There's, there yeah, either I is wish. a victim. Well, in both cases, there's exactly victims, really. there's a victim no matter what. Why are you happy that someone just got victimized? Like, what the fuck? Carson needs should. to come back. I and he needs to do it on our show. Point. <laughs> Carson, if you're listening, there's a spot here for you. We, we'll, uh, yes. we'll give you the we, microphone. We are on your we'll side. let you tell your story. And that goes for anyone in a similar situation. If you've been wrong, don't reach out to us. I'm only let giving him the right. microphone, though, if when he's on this podcast, he listens to it in Raycon earbuds. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, of course. Same, yes. Of course. Okay. Anyone else is canceled. Yeah. I mean, if if you're podcasting, you can listen with Raycon wireless earbuds. I mean, don't you hate wires? You don't, don't you want to get rid of yep. them? You could totally do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've recently picked up running again. I used to run way back when I was younger, when I was spry, when my muscles worked. But now I go running. And let me tell you something. I'm a big, bouncy boy. I've got flabby parts. When I run, there's like a lot of fucking movement there. Things go up, they go down, they crash, they clang a lang, and it doesn't feel good. You know what I'm not going to run with? Big fucking pair of headphones. You know what I'm not going to run with? Something with wires on it. Nope. Raybuds, take them out, pop them in. Totally wireless. Listen to some fat Eurobeat, because it's literally all I listen to when I run. I go 10 miles an hour faster. Raycons are built to perform anywhere at any time. They even have water and sweat resistant construction and Bluetooth that will pair quickly and seamlessly. Raycon makes great sound accessible to everyone with earbuds starting at half the price of other premium audio brands. So if you're going to take our advice earlier and start getting in shape, maybe you're gonna wanna bring them on your next run. Cause let me tell you something, having, I used to have to use wired earbuds for running. It's fucking awful. It's not good. Raycon is offering 15% off of all their products for the official podcast listeners. And all you got to do is go to buyraycon.com slash OP. And that's it. 15% off your entire Raycon order. Grab a pair and a spare. 15% off at buyraycon.com slash OP. That's buyraycon.com slash OP. Thank you, Raycon. Yeah, thanks, thanks Raycon. Raycon. I love Raycon. I've told you guys before, we should have this cottage industry. I mean, we have it and we should invade it and take it over where every time somebody's canceled with these bogus accusations, we should have them on the show. I think that's a oh, yeah, for, for, the, for the bogus yeah. accusations. But that's the last thing in their interest, really, I think. Yeah, that's probably the last thing they'd like to do. Last thing they like to do, but I disagree that it's the last thing in their interest. I mean, when when this shit when this shit comes out, I think it is in your interest to deny it all and say that it's all a bunch of fucking bullshit. I don't. Again, like, don't ever fucking apologize. I think Vinny got a lawyer. Yeah, that might I be mean, a rumor. I don't know yeah, if I'm right. Vinny, good, Vinny, good came a, Vinny came out with a Vinny came out with a very short statement, and he basically just said, "I'm speaking to a lawyer," and that was kind of it. Which is smart. Does anyone, does anyone remember Angry Joe? Uh, I recall something similar. Yeah. Like this was before like the big wave of Twitter uh, witch Oof. hunts. But Angry Joe. That's old I, school. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I recall. Oh, this was only last remember. year. No. Can year. you? No, it wasn't. 
Are you sure? No, I don't think it was. Yeah. You'll, you'll have to refresh our memory either way, I thought this was, thought this was during like the, s- the, s- like the whole Smash tournament um, pedophile no. like, accusations, and then it led to other accusations against smaller things, and then... Uh, are you talking well, about the it, time that Angry Joe was like, he, he picked up a woman at a convention or something? No, so if I recall, it, it has been a while. It definitely wasn't last year. There's no fucking way. There was a well, girl... There was a new one last year. Uh, there was a fan at a convention uh, in Angry Joe and her were flirting and then they eventually like got a hotel room together and then she made a big hoobla about it on twitter like years after the fact and the only thing like all angry joe said and did was like okay i'm getting a lawyer so he got a lawyer and had handled everything he just approached it all legally yes and took the entire thing straight fucking down yeah, good. Yeah, I remember that. I, I think. I mean, the whole accusation. There was videos of this. Um, I, I think videos that she had released, and the whole accusation literally was that I met Angry Joe at this convention, and I uh, tagged along with them. Yeah. And I guess he was into me, and he let me tag along with him. And it, oh, it was so weird. Like he was just meeting with his friends, and he was he was having a good time with his friends, and he was ignoring me. It's like Holy I was shit. raped. It like, was no, last- he literally just ignored you. It That's was it. last Correct. year. Holy fuck, it was last year. Yeah, you you made me really? feel crazy. I, I'm so sick of yeah, being doubted wow. on this show and then later proven right. It just feels so <laughs> long ago. Holy shit. Time's flying by now, man. I hate it. Oh, well, to be f- no, well, to be fair, the allegation I'm reading um from this article. The allegation against Joe Vargas claims that at a convention back in 2018, so that's Maybe, why yeah, but the accusation no no the accusation still only came out last year though okay I know, well i'm just saying that's why probably it feels so old to us but yeah I, again regardless of the year i think the it just feels so old because this is constantly happening and it's just hard to keep track of time that's probably exactly what it is man the whole accusation was i went on a date with this guy and he didn't pay attention to me therefore rape what the fuck did they no didn't they actually hook up or am i not i could just be totally fucking wrong now uh didn't they actually uh, hook up? i'm pretty sure no, i remember I really her know. accusation involved them in a hotel room yeah I uh, towards the so. end of the time and he he made an advance on her or something like that um, um it's a uh, yeah it's fucking stupid. What, what is even is this? I, okay, so I, I'm reading again. The allegation against Joe Vargas claims that at a convention back in 2018, Joe Vargas both mentally and physically forced her to hang around him and attempted to try subliminally manipulate her into maybe having sex. I want to read that again. Attempted to try subliminally manipulate her into maybe having sex. Joe what? is well known for how his psychic it? abilities. What do you mean? <laughs> how is that even a evil. tangible accusation? Like he kind of, sort of, maybe, possibly at some points intangibly, does, wait, does that, does ephemerally that, does that sh- wanted. What? What? Does it? Does it mean that she's accusing him of something that was entirely in her head? Because she's picking up on something subliminal? It literally just means that guy had good game. <laughs> uh, he talked me into sex. That's, that's fucking it. That's what we used to call it before the fucking internet age. It's just, oh, he's, he's good at talking women into bed. Okay. That, that, that's not rape. Stop giving accusations like this the time. Jesus. If it's not legitimate, like, rape or, or someone forcing you to do something... Or manipulation, manipulation. or yeah. you, you're anything not like that. If you just if you regret your date or who you had sex with, we guess what we've we've all we've, yeah. we all regret stuff like that at different times in our lives. You're Move not the fuck allowed on, deal with it in a healthy way. You're not fuck. allowed to give consent and then regret it and use that as a way to say that you were forced into doing it. That's not how it yeah, works. Exactly. <laughs> it's so it's not how it works. Are, man, there's been so many things recently. This one's a little older though for sure. Do you remember uh, Aziz Aziz Azari, I think his yeah, name is? Yeah, yeah, that's yes, what I was reminding yes, me of. I yeah, remember, the word, the I know exactly what you're talking about. Fucking that hate one that is guy. a class that one is a classic though. Tell uh, everyone, it, Charlie. Yeah, Go in on. a nutshell, a girl went on a date with him. And then they went back to his place. She sucked his dick, went to the bathroom, came back out, sucked his dick again, 
and then <laughs> accused him of like rape or something or like well, she, to yeah, be fair if I shot this him this of rape. Rape. Sorry's dick I'd be disgusted with myself too she accused him of rape because, because he he uh, gave her red wine instead of white wine with the chicken oh yeah believe. that was a big part too like that's the wine what I was going to bring wanted. up I don't know if that was him or another guy they tried it to cancel him. but was it okay yeah and yes, the whole accusation was literally, oh, he tr he asked me politely if I would suck his dick. And I said, yes, and I sucked his dick and he came in my mouth and I swallowed and I said, yummy, yummy, mm, come in my tummy. <laughs> but I didn't really like it. Therefore, rape. <laughs> like, no, like you agreed. It's consent. Like, do you understand I, what the word yes means? You said yes. You put your lips on his dick. Uh, I don't remember if she said that she didn't like the sex, but I do remember that she didn't like the date itself. Like she didn't yeah, like the dinner that was served at the she, drink. She criticized the date so fucking hard. Would point out like the littlest details, like uh, the wine not being the wine she was hoping for and stuff like that. This this all has the same energy as those people that release like private DMs. Like you know what I mean? Like they they. Uh, I don't know. They, they, it's just it's such a loser action to just air that dirty laundry like a bad date or something if you weren't actually victimized. It's it's so fucking lame. Yeah. I mean, Aziz and Sari deserve fucking some fucking people, privacy. man. This, this is so frustrating. All of this is so frustrating. Let, look at Okay, so I, I looked it up. This is the allegation against him, against Aziz Ansari is... Um, this article says, after arriving at his apartment in Manhattan on Monday evening, they exchanged small talk and drank wine. It was white, she said. I didn't get to choose, and I prefer red. But it was white. I was completely right. I yeah, was actually right. Yeah. It was white. <laughs> And she cried and she wept as Jesus wept alongside her like it's fucking Hellraiser movie. Damn. Maybe it's a, uh, a metaphor. Maybe there was no wine served. Oh, Jesus yeah, very, very deep God. literature uh, techniques. The old bait and switch. <laughs> yeah. There's been so many, when, actually. When I'm sorry. By the down. way, like, don't take this as a... Def like, uh, as he's unsorry, he's a douche. But still, like, he's not a rapist. When uh, when Ansari he told her... He's just as... No, he, like, he's, the, the he's a... The, I remember the conversations in that, like, accusation. Like, if those are real ones, like, they are really goofy. He's like, you know, my dick is a little cold and lonely. <laughs> Like there, but that's, so what? So, Jesus. It's, it, it's still goofy. Yeah, like, I mean, it's, still, it's like a douchey it should thing be to say. public business. He should be able to take that to the grave. <laughs> when when Ansari told her he was going to grab a condom within minutes of their first kiss, Grace voiced her hesitation explicitly. I said something like, whoa, let's relax for a sec. Let's chill. She says... He then resumed kissing her, briefly performed oral sex on her. <laughs> that's pretty chill. That's, that's very chill. Yeah, that's pretty chill. Like, hey, let's slow down a little. Oh, also, let well, me open let, my let legs let so you can lick my you. pussy. <laughs> let's, let's chill. And ask her to do the same thing to him. She did. But not for long. It was really quick. Everything was pretty much touched and done within 10 minutes of hooking up, except for actual sex. Oh, no, look. look, to be fair, like, I mean, a blowjob shouldn't last more good. than 10 minutes, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. You want to come before that. I don't want to, I don't want to get a blowjob to last longer than 10 minutes. It's just tedious. The goal of sex is to come. If I'm not coming within 30 seconds, I'm unhappy. <laughs> Speed <laughs> running. Yeah, I need it over and done with. Just like optimize. <laughs> Like every fucking angle, like oh, he wanted to lick my pussy, so I let him. He raped me. No, you weirdo. That's well, potentially, stop. but no. From what she said, no, that's not rape. If she consented, no, it isn't. It isn't. Well, fuck. that's the internet for you. Yeah, fucking wild. I bet if those accusations came out today, it would be received totally differently. I remember when they came out, most what people, include, yeah, including like major talk show networks were like, you had a bad date, you were not a victim of sexual assault, you are devaluing the victims of real sexual assault. Like everyone was, was against that. This but was happening it, around the same time as Louis C.K. Yeah. 
Uh, so yeah. everyone, uh, everyone was against those allegations with uh, Aziz Azari. But if they came out today uh, with Twitter being the way it is, I guarantee it would be a very different response. A hundred percent. No. Wrong, absolutely wrong. He's a real celebrity. Untouchable. Uh, but yeah, but, like but does anyone celebrity. really respect Aziz? Like, you know? He's still a real celebrity. Uh, I, I just, I just hate him. I just don't like him at all. Oh, like this Why was do you hate him, like, you I, I think he's up. incredibly unfunny, and from the few bits... Oh, I also agree. And from the few bits I've seen of him in, like, interviews and, like, off-the-cuff stuff, I think he thinks he's incredibly hilarious, and I just think he's not uh, funny or talented most at all. comedians do. Again, yeah. that's that. why I said Aziz Ansari is incredibly cringe and a douche. Yeah, but he's not funny. He's, he's not, not witty. A, I hate him. I don't think he's good at all. He he is not Ted Bundy. Like he didn't break into a, like a sorority dorm and rape women. Like what the fuck? Just because he asked you to suck his dick and you sucked his dick and now it's like ew, it tasted bad down my throat. Like that's rape. No. There's a dummy with buyer's remorse. You know, the number one thing I hate, well, not number one thing, but one of the main things that I hate about all this is the believe all victims hashtag. Or when people say believe all victims, like people are incapable of lying about crimes. It's so yeah, dumb. I know. Well, it's it almost as if dumb. we should, it's, it's like, it's not even our business. That's the other thing. If hypothetically Aziz did some extremely shady shit with that woman and that was what happened, okay, great, go to the police. Like, what the fuck yeah. does our opinion matter on it at all? Yeah, imagine, like, if you wanted, like, revenge and to damage him and this was a real event that took place, him being fucking arrested would do significantly <laughs> more harm to his career than some Twitter <laughs> updoots. Exactly. <laughs> if a crime has been committed, you go to the police. They will handle it. And if they are a celebrity or someone important, going to fucking jail is pretty damning to their career. And if no crime was committed, then you shouldn't be going to Twitter anyway. You shouldn't be making it public anyway. Yeah. Oh, God. Bill Burr has a great bit on this. Um, like, type in Bill Burr, believe all women. It, it's like, you know, when they tell you believe women, like all of them? Even, even yeah. the psychopaths that, like, cook your cats in a fucking pan because you pissed her off? Like, no. Even the ones that key your car because you offended her on one Valentine's Day? No. It's it's not a good good enough excuse. It's not it's not a good idea uh, to just believe anyone because of their fucking gender. They, they lie. <clears throat> Everybody lies. Everybody fucking lies. I want I, I want to just go around to those believe all victims posts or but believe all you know that those posts and just re like reply accusing that person of like pedophilia or something and now they're legitimately a pedophile that's, by their own. That's yeah, that's uh, what a lot of people system. do. If if like people are on Twitter and they go, oh, you should believe the victim no matter what, then the common response is they say like you raped me there now you're I'm the victim <laughs> believe me. Yeah, and it, it's it just completely defeats their argument, you know. It's so, yeah, it's, and it's, they never it's respond. Tumblr it's line the, of thinking. The very the most common response is oh, okay. If we're gonna believe every accusation, okay, you're a pedophile. Now what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they never I have actually, a fucking response. I actually read a whole argument on this on Reddit. It was on live stream. Fails. I'm really like, sorry it, to hear you did that. I, know. I, I, I was reading. <laughs> I was reading both sides of this exact argument. So oh, the guy boy. was like. It was, I think it was about Vinny, and the guy was like, it really doesn't matter if they're true or false, we need to believe the victim until Vinny proves otherwise. So someone was like, well, why? Why is the onus on him to prove that he's innocent when there was no proof to prove he was guilty of anything? He's like, it doesn't matter because we have to believe that the victim is telling the truth. So then he did the exact same thing you said, where it's like, okay, you raped me, now prove me wrong. You know, and then he goes yeah. into it like, well, you can't do it <laughs> like <guy>. that. <laughs> the guy turns himself into the nearest <laughs> jail. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> well, what do you mean you can't do it like that? I could start writing made up evidence all I want. I could start writing yeah, a giant Google he's... Doc describing the incident, even I if I'd never met the person. I, I, I don't remember <laughs> what his like full response was, but it was basically a, a, a wait a minute that you didn't play by my rules. That you're wrong. They're just so he fucking just did a full <laughs> it's, it, it's just it. Really, it's just because the meaning of like believe all victims has just been twisted like entirely yeah. into believe all accusers, which is an entirely different thing. Like, no way should you be just 
blanket believe all Look, accusers. Serious so dangerous. accusations require serious responses and they require serious evidence. If you're going to throw around these horrible things on people, you shouldn't have knee jerk reactions. You fucking take it to the police if a crime happened or you discuss it amongst the people involved. It's not our fucking business. It's uh, this is a uh, name, by the way. Um, so th- how do I segue into this? You guys know Lil Nax or Lil Snacks or whatever that rapper is? Lil Nas Who? X. Lil Nas X. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm calling so him Little Snacks now. Some, that's great. Little Snacks. <laughs> Jesus, little <Kyle>. Snacks. <laughs> I, I, I don't know the guy, but I'm just saying, like, apparently he did some <laughs> music video where Christians got mad and everyone's yeah. now talking about this in the last week. And I was kind of bored of this conversation because I've already spent, like, most of my teenage years dabbing on the Christian church <laughs> with hitch slap compilations, you know? I Like, I got it out of my system. And one of the when I was a teenage atheist, still am, but not teenage, uh, we had Hitchens and Hitchens had a rule, Andrew, and he said that Mm -hmm. what can be asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. And I think that really applies to these fucking me too. That is a good quote. I think if you can accuse someone with zero evidence other than he's serving you white wine instead of red, you can dismiss that allegation. You have to prove this shit, guys. And Hitchens Razor. And that's the... That's you have to prove on. it in court. You have to go to, like... Well, that's the, the other place. funny thing, because even when they do have evidence, the chain just totally stops. So they bring up a fucking Google Doc, and they go, here's our evidence that this happened. And then hundreds of people literally go, well, here's why that didn't happen. Here's proof this didn't happen. Here's where this is out of context. Oh, this is easily faked, blah, blah, blah. And then the chain stops, because they go, now it's your turn. Prove that, you know, it isn't fake. And it, that's it. Just dies right there. The game well, of tennis it, stops. No, the the game dies the second the accusation is made because there's always a huge chunk of people that will believe that and never want to see no the response. What. Oh yeah. God, you're right. Though. Like there's oh. so, there's still so many people who think pro Jared was like a big evil yep. guy and everything was true about it. Never even bothered to look at his response and see I, that it was I all proven false. I fucking regret our hand, whatever small I hand know. that we played in yeah. Pro Jared so fucking much. In our if defense, that was one of our for what that it was. was one of our first experiences with that like Twitter outrage. Like yeah. in our defense, shit. remember when I didn't want to talk about Pro Jared's dick and the internet hated me for two weeks? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah. you dicks, you dickheads. Hey, to yeah. to be fair to all of us, ever <laughs> since then, I think whenever we bring this stuff up, we play it a lot more objectively. Yeah, I so think so. I don't as well. engage with any of that shit anymore. Yeah, at I don't all. at all. I wait for it to kind of pan out, and then if it's pretty definitive one side or the other, then I'll be like, wow, look at this moron. That's about it. Yeah, I, I just don't believe it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm not on the believe all women bandwagon. Like, believe all women. No. I don't think any of us are. I don't think anyone. Yeah. There's, you should not believe just face value shit. You, mm-hmm. you just need to like actually look at it i would say don't believe anyone no just fucking <laughs> prove it prove it bitch i don't i don't care what i don't care if you have a fucking dick or a pussy i don't care fucking prove it fuck off otherwise i'm not gonna believe you it's that not even it. our business i'm always just gonna fall back on just go to the police yeah as soon as you make it the internet's problem you've like you have corrupted that case beyond repair it's so stupid. Like, with the whole Onision thing, Charlie, like, uh, when when the internet got involved and evidence was basically thrown out of the court system because it was just, it, like, the, the police couldn't trust it because it had been passed around to so many hands. So stupid. Is that what actually happened with that? That's, that's what I uh, have... Yeah, that's what I believe happened, yeah. Like, uh, one of one of the people had evidence, but they held it back for so long, and, and the computer was, uh, like passed around to so many different people that the police just wouldn't wouldn't investigate it further. Hmm. I did not hear that. I mean, I, I, mean, I could be wrong, I guess. But. <laughs> well, I mean, Discovery had a whole fucking thing on Onision. I don't think, like, the internet compiling evidence was, like, a huge detriment to the case. Discovery still made something big out of it, which I imagine could be used as evidence if they wanted to pursue it. Yeah, that this that discovery thing just basically had YouTubers on it the entire time. 
Uh, true, I guess. Discovery also isn't a very good place for actual yeah. information anymore anyway, I suppose. Anyway, fuck an ETH on there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, guys, on a wrap. Right. Thank you, everyone. Yep. Yeah. yeah, thanks everyone for listening to this sobering episode of the official podcast. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Believe all podcasts. Believe us. Yeah. Uh, whenever, whenever, no matter we, what comes out, we, uh, just trust us. All... <laughs> please go to. Hang on, Jackson. I don't know if you remember, but I'm supposed to be the review guy. Yeah, yeah. So please go to uh, Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts and everywhere else where you can leave a review, and also YouTube, of course, on Charlie's channel, and leave us a good review, a thumbs up, a five star, whatever you can, anything positive, and we will believe you. We will believe your review because believe all positive reviews. Thank you. Yes, exactly. And if you want to go the extra mile, you can head on over to patreon.com slash the official podcast, bonus content, bonus mm -hmm. episodes, uh, a lot of stuff over there that you can go check out. Earlier access to the episodes, adless content, you know, you know the drill by now. Just go check it out. Patreon.com slash the official podcast. Thank you. And we're sorry, Vinny. We hope you are. Uh, yeah, good luck, soon. Vinny. You're welcome on the show, by the way. Yeah, uh, we course. don't hate you. Mm -hmm. You're... you're Please come on and defend, fucking defend yourself. Fight back. And thank you, everyone. All right. Yeah, thanks, thanks everyone. everyone. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.